This is from Sally Hansen, but it's the Miracle Gel in number 252 Rose and Shine. And so I decided that I would also, um, you know, this is a gel formula. Even though y'all know I have been using this and I'm loving this um, from Beauty Guard, the Rocket Nail Fuel. And it has really helped my nails to grow and strengthen. Um, but it comes in the clear, which I like. And then it now has um, the nude color, which I do have on right here. And it also comes in this red, which y'all seen me wear once or twice in videos. And then I haven't tried this yet. This is called Gender Neutral, and it's just kind of a grayish. It's like a, a cross between a gray and a beige. And that's going to be great for fall. So I really love these, but I was kind of in the mood for something. This is more nudie pink. This is more rosy pink. So I just wanted to try it, and I like Sally Hansen. Um, this is supposedly step one, and then you put the coat on top. I may just use that coat on top, or I may just use this over this. I don't know. But um, I just realized this went over, so I'm just going to keep talking. One of the things I will probably likely go back and do before I do the tutorial, so I may run up there real quick. Um, or maybe tomorrow, because I don't really have a reason to run up there right now, just for lip gloss or lip product. But um, I do want to go back and get a color that's a little closer to this. This you know, like it says it's plum, but this is clearly much, much, much darker than this is. And to me, I tell you, this says it's plum, but it just looks like it's going to be a lot darker. Hold on, where's the hole? Let me just get that off. Let's see if we can just go ahead and open it. There we go. Oh, very cool, by the way. Once you open this, it opens with the bottom first, so it has a brush and a mirror. So then you must have to lift the top. Yes, you do. That almost looks like, is that supposed to be a blush? Blush and highlight. That does not, okay, I've just got to try this out right now. I can't wait. Y'all know me. I'm not as good a YouTuber as some of these ladies that they have their makeup all set and so they're not going to add, and, and other people look at this and go, Beth, you already have product on so it's not going to be a true, I'm just going to try it. And let's see about this little brush. That's interesting. It barely took product. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and look, use this little uh, mirror, and I'm just going to brush down like that. And see, that's what I thought. It looks a little r ruddier than plum. Now, I do have a ruddier color on. When I say ruddy, I mean like a rusty. This, to me, looks more like a peachy pink or rusty pink. When I say peach, that's what I mean do right on the nose. I don't need anything up there. Maybe we'll do down here a little bit. Always do the little jowl drops and then right on the bottom of the chin. And for me, because of my little fatties, you can also just kind of blend that back out. And you can always use the other side to blend it a little bit. Oh, no, I'm going to use the other side. Use a highlighter. Let's see how this highlighter looks. Why not? See. That one makes it more plummy because it's just not looking plummy in my opinion. Well, that's a good highlight. Let's maybe tip off the end of the nose. Maybe the Cupid's bow. On the Cupid's bow, I'm learning just to use your finger. Yeah. Maybe a little dust on the chin there. On either side of the eye. Actually, I think it could actually use a little more. If you're going to do a, a highlighted look, I would come in a little on the cheeks just to wake up this area. Stay below your crow's feet, right below it like that. But you still want to get that cheekbone. Hmm. Now, I don't have foundation on today, y'all. I just said contour and blush. That's interesting. I like it. Um, I will be interesting to see how this looks um, without me having anything else on my face because I do feel like this is bronzy looking more than it's plum looking. And it'll be interesting to see with all these highlighted products. Actually, only the highlighter. I could have just left the highlighter off if I use this, um, if I use this Lumi Glotion. Um, and again, it says it instantly hydrates and luminizes for all over fresh, healthy, naked skin glow. So 
what I would say about this is it says apply alone or under makeup. So you don't put it on top, you put it underneath. Either way, you put this on first. So after you've cleansed your face and you're ready to do your makeup, you would put this on and then if you want more coverage, you would add your foundation above it and this will come through and have kind of a glowy from within look supposedly. So um, I've heard a lot of good things about this and I, I remember using a Lumi product before and I really did like it. Y'all, I'm so digging the smell. This is that caramel apple from Bath and Body Works. And y'all, I am just so loving it. I love the fall smells. Let me turn that around so you can see the actual candle instead of the label. That's so pretty. Sometimes I like to show the label because I like what's in it. But it smells like fall, and I'm so ready for fall because I'm so good, sick of it being so hot. But anyway, so those were just some things I got. Like I said, I will go ahead and do a tutorial with the eye product from L'Oreal, the cheek product from L'Oreal, using the um, Lumi Glotion instead of foundation, or I may add it with, you know, put it under foundation, add some foundation and some um, concealer to, you know, cover age spots and things like that. Um, and then, in the meantime, hopefully before I do that, I will go back and get a, what I feel, even though it all says plum, I, this is way too dark, and I feel like that I need to go back and get a different lip product for the tutorial. So, that will be coming. Y'all, please, if you have not subscribed, Feel free to subscribe below and uh, hit that little notification bell and that lets you know when I have a, a, um, a video coming through and you can decide if you want to stop and watch it or wait till later. Um, also, if you have friends that, that you think would enjoy this, this uh, channel, please forward a link and, and tell them to subscribe. It's always good for me to keep the subscriptions up and coming for YouTube. And, um, and also, make suggestions below what kind of videos you want to see. Because, um, you know, some of you are new, some of you have been around a while, and it, that may change, or you may have new ideas, whatever. Um, but, you know, in this channel, we just enjoy um, makeup and hair, and and uh, in the middle of talking about it, we bring up Jesus. We're not afraid to talk about Jesus on this channel, so I hope if that's your, um, if that's your uh, something that you enjoy, then I'll be glad of that. If you don't, then I would encourage you to... Just listen up sometimes and, and just be open-minded. Um, I don't ever want to be offensive to anyone, but at the same time, I'm, I'm not going to ever apologize for being a Christian, y'all. So, and he just comes up in my conversation pretty regular. So, yeah, that'll be a part of it. So, anyway, I hope you all enjoy the next uh, video that I do, which will likely be a tutorial of this. And I will see you guys again soon. I love you all so much. Love you. Talk to you again soon. Bye. Bye. -bye.